it going everybody? Welcome back. It's been a little while since we've done a cooking video, but we're finally getting back into it now. Uh, I've been on holiday and had some other things on, so I've just not had much time for it. But like I say, we're back. And we're starting with something rather healthy. So this is from the Slumming World Little Books of Soup. And it's creamed carrot and beetroot soup, which normally isn't one of my go-tos, but I don't know, it just intrigued me. I do like, obviously, carrots. I've never even tried beetroot before. I'm 25, never never even thought about trying it. It's not something that's appealed to me, but we're gonna give it a go. So here is everything you need for this. You need four large carrots, obviously peeled and chopped. Don't need to be neat, just roughly, because obviously it's, it's all gonna be blended later. 400 grams of um, beetroot, it says fresh or vacuum packed, doesn't matter. Again, peeled and roughly chopped. Three garlic cloves, uh, I am using lazy today. Um, I use about two and a half teaspoons, maybe th maybe three, maybe just push about out, I do like it. Four leeks trimmed and finely sliced. Now I've got two because Silky said, uh, I sent her out to the shop for it all, and said they're rather large and I think that's all that we'll need, so better do. <laughs> Uh, 1.2 litres of veg stock, one bay leaf, 75 gram of fat free natural fromage fray, which we have right there, uh, freshly ground black pepper, and to garnish it, some chopped fresh chives, which I've got my fresh chives still in the fridge because we don't need them just yet. So the first thing I'm going to do is get all this chopped. But when it says roughly chopped, it literally just means it doesn't matter. Like, so they don't have to be the same size, I'll bring them closer to them properly. They don't have to be the same size or anything like that, that's perfect. I'm going to stick all that onto a plate over here and repeat it with the other three. This is the interesting one to me, the, uh, the beetroot. It's quite... I, I, I'm pretty certain what I've been told it can stay. So I'm going to slice it into my sink. Oh my god, I heard it like I've killed somebody. Oh, it smells quite sweet though. So, 400 grams, this is a 500 gram bag. Uh, how do you peel it? I'm just going to chop it in half. Oh my god, that's so satisfying to chop. I think it's already peeled. Oh, it's already cut. Oh yeah, sweet. So, I'm just going to cut that into quarters, I guess. It's really satisfying. I, thought, I was expecting it to be so tough, and I'm probably sounding really stupid because it's just beetroot the other day. But yeah, it's really nice and soft, squidgy. I don't believe it's got a skin, so which is fine. Um, so I can just chuck that straight there. Um, it smells really sweet too, um, which I'm surprised by. I don't know what I was expecting. I was expecting it to be bitter, which would explain a lot because I had a friend when I was a kid that. <laughs> And bear with me, because I was quite weird too. I liked an olive sandwich, but he liked a beetroot sandwich. Um, and I, I, I remember watching him eat one at my, my house once when we were kids, because my mum, our weird demands, we said, I said, I want an olive sandwich. He was like, can I have a beetroot one, please? And we weren't like children either, like we were 14, 13, 14 at this point. So, yeah, my mum, she was accommodating. She was like, yeah, whatever, you're not like it, but we did. Um, and I was looking at it, it's like, oh, how are you eating beetroot? Because <laughs> I mean, I wasn't supposed to eat it back then. But, yeah, no, nah, it smells quite nice. No hate in the comments for the olive sandwich either. I wouldn't do that now, but, I mean, I do still like olives. There we go, so, I might just add the last piece of beetroot, to be honest. Just purely because I'm not going to use it, other than in this soup. And, um... We are a bit of a leap down, aren't we? So, we'll get it used. There we go. So now I just need to chop the leeks. Okay, so we're over here now. Um, now it's just used a large saucepan, so I have opted for my witch's cauldron. It's me old faithful, and I think this is gonna be quite big. Now it serves four, but I think it's gonna be a big soup anyway. So I'm gonna just put the hob on to like a full heat. I put no oil in it or anything like that. Because all we're doing now is we are just literally dumping everything in. So we're going to start with the leeks, beetroot and carrot. It has been all nicely and roughly chopped um, already, obviously. And then that piece of beetroot. Um, and then we're going to chuck in three teaspoons of the garlic. 
Oh, obviously, your three garlic cloves. Um, I'm probably not going to do three actually, I'm just going to do two nice ones. There we go. Followed by the stock. Now, I haven't completely stirred this in because it doesn't actually matter. It's all going to go in here and cook in together. You can put your stock cubes in first, followed by boiling water. Like I say, it doesn't actually matter, which is what I do with my veg soup. I don't know if you've seen that video, but you might want to go check it out. So this is going to be all blitzed together later, so it really doesn't matter. So that's all in there now, just cooking nicely, so we'll just bring you over. So we're going to leave it like that. Obviously, we just need to put the old bay leaf in. I'm not stirring it, anything like that. Just all, in fact, I will give it a quick stir whilst I'm thinking about it, because I'm just thinking the bits that aren't quite in there, so. We want it all submerged in the water, don't we, and the garlic all in. We want all the flavours mixing together nicely. Poke that down, like so. There we go, now that's what we want. Lovely. Push that off. Bay leaf back in. Sealed tightly with a lid, like so. And then we'll leave it there. Uh, probably um, put it on like a medium high. And it's going to be on there for 40 minutes or until it's all gone nice and firm. You just put a knife straight through the veg because that's when it's ready to be blitzed. So, it has been on now for 40 minutes. I'm not going to pick up the metal lid with my bare hand because that would be a bit daft. So, I still managed to burn myself with the steam. There we go. Wow, it smells great. Let's have a go. I'm going to start. Oh, yeah. Okay, so everything, the leeks, just stab straight through. The carrots are nice and soft. They're not too soft, they're not mushy. It is just perfect. So, I'm going to give it a quick stir. And then we're going to blitz it up. So here we are. So, we've got the um, everything mixed in together. We're going to put the creme fraiche or whatever it was, the light natural yoghurt in. Low fat, sorry, should I say. There we go. It's not actually that much. But it will be plenty. So now, it says you can transfer it into a food processor. I have one of these hand blenders. They work absolutely fine. Um, and it's actually easier because you keep it in the same pan. So I'm just like pulsing it because I want to get it all kind of trapped. Oh, I've not removed the bay leaf. You are meant to do that, so uh, if, you, if you're making this at home, make sure you do. There we go. We got it before it was too late at least. There we go. I'm so excited to try this though, because it smells so good. Right. I'm just going to... So I think that is about right. So, uh, we'll get the ladle out. And we're just gonna have a quick, a quick play with it. Yeah, it's nice. It's a really nice thick soup, actually. So he was definitely right about the leak. Um, it was more than enough. So I'm gonna put it in a bowl and we'll have a look and a taste. So we just need to do the finishing touches. Crack some black pepper on there, and of course, chop some fresh um, chives, and add that into it as well. So. So what we're just going to quickly do. Awesome. Awesome. There we go. What do we think? I think that looks pretty nice. Can we turn on light and make it look a bit... Oh yeah, I think that looks great. I think that looks really good, to be honest. Right, let's give it a try. Right. Here we go, the moment of truth. Smells good. It smells really good. So this was, like I said, with just carrots, beetroot and leek, really, is all that makes it up. It's really nice and thick and consistency, which is what I like with soup. I don't like it being too watery. Oh, wow. That's really nice. So, yeah, hold on a minute. That's good. I think you could even add like a sweet potato into it. It'd make it even thicker. 
and also um, it just had to the sweet flavour, but no, like, it was perfect. I guess it's the beetroot that's really coming through in it. That is a really, really nice and cheap and easy to make recipe. Mmm. Yeah, you taste the carrots, you taste the beetroot. Obviously, you can't really taste the leek, that's just there to kind of make the numbers up in terms of like the vitamins and whatnot, but this is so healthy as well. And obviously, it's Slimming World, this, so you can't really get much healthier. Mmm. Wow. That's nice. That's absolutely perfect. And in terms of actually making it, all right, it takes probably, what? No, it says here 50 minutes, but it won't take that long because 40 minutes of it is being on the hob. The rest of it, it's just quickly peel it, chop it up, but in any way you want, just chuck it in. You don't have to put it all onto a plate like I did. You can put the heat on and just chop, chop, chuck it in, put your stock in, lid on, walk away. You know, I went in and watched a bit of a film. It was easy, you know, you know, you could do the washing up, which I'm, I am going to do at some point. But yeah, no, it was, it's so easy and so good and yeah, definitely. It's, it looks like a really nice little book, this as well, with the rest of the recipes. We've got a quick chicken and noodle soup, that's probably going to be the next one we do. Um, pea and mint, that sounds nice. Yeah, we've got loads to be getting on with, uh, as well as all the other books that we're going to be doing. But yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this. I've enjoyed making it, I've enjoyed recording it, sharing it with you all. Obviously, if you enjoyed this, leave it a like, drop me a comment, let me know what you think. And of course, if you're not already, subscribe, very helpful. And yeah, hopefully you'll see me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.